Hey, this is Jason Rosell, also known as Heat from VH1's I Love New York, and right now you're watching the I Love New York reunion special. Now, this is not just a normal special, this is the 12 year special with the one and only Dave 12 Pack Ammerman. <laughs> The men of I Love New York. What's up, man? What's up, brother? How you doing? Pretty good. Good to be out here, man. Out in uh, California, man. It's unbelievable that just not even 48 hours ago, uh, about 7 o'clock in the morning, just having my cup of coffee, I get a message from, this is Dave Averman just sent you a message on my phone. I'm like, okay, what's going on? He says, Caliente, and you're going to see the screenshot now on the screen. I am in Long Beach. Let's kick it. I'm like, oh, hell no. Mind you, when was the last time we saw each other? At least probably 10 years ago. Right, right after I Love Money. Yeah, long. yeah, two, 2010, 2011, about that. If that. If that. Might have been like, oh, nine, oh, eight, yeah. I still can't believe, you know, still, I'm sure to this day, you get approached left and right, you know. You, doesn't he look the same, guys? This is unbelievable. The guy has not wrinkled. I think I take pride in it. Look at this guy. What? It was the biggest show in VH1 history. Uh, 4.8 million viewers, watchers. That, I mean, I don't know about you personally, before I did this show, I was living in my friend's couch. And I was, we did the show. Next thing you know, we're on billboards. I'm like, <laughs> what's we going did, on? We actually did on the re reunion, we did 7.1 million, man. And then in the, the premiere, did about 5.4 million. So, the really? average is by 4.8. Oh, and that's they right. showed it every two hours. Every two hours. So, at 8 p.m., then at 10 p.m., then at midnight, then at 2 a.m. So, every time you'd wake up and put the thing on, we were pretty we much were. on the screen. It was we pretty were. great. We bonded, I mean, right off the jump. And, and not to, uh, and, and I said it on the show, and I'll say it, what, 12 years later. Not just me, but everybody in this freaking joint knows that you got the best freaking body, okay? Can I get a circuit? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. The slow-mo music. I'm wearing sunglasses, right? Because they put me in. They put me in the leopard skin. That's for the record, okay? Right. right. They won the challenge, the dog yeah. house, and they put me in a room. And they're like, "Here are the speedos." So I was like, "Okay, I guess it makes sense." I was in shape, you know, so I didn't mind. Um, and I'm putting the sunglasses on. We're walking around, drinking, having fun. And we went outside. It's so dark, and you're sitting there going. I don't even remember. We're just like you can tell. We're not even paying attention. And, and I've got the glasses on. And I'm literally like I can't see him, and I'm putting them down, and they make it look like I'm winking and kind of doing my thing. And I mean, the editing was phenomenal, but I mean, it was it was a classic moment. They reenacted. They actually paid for the rights of what was the name of the movie of the two guys that fell in love? Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback. It was the Brokeback Mountain. They played the Brokeback Mountain track, and I remember. I'll never forget the day. Just the, all the level of different celebrities throughout the years that people have, you know, you and I just look up to, and they're, yeah. they're, they're like, I know you, you know. And mind you, when you have big stars, whether it's A-listers or B-listers, they wanted to take pictures with us. I mean, the memories or the Playboy Mansion parties are just like, hosting. Well, I just, I didn't get to experience you didn't get that. Out, that, out, that. Well, that, that's the West Coast benefit. Yeah. We'll leave it at that. We became friends. We became these big stars on this crazy wild show. But what really came out of it, besides an awesome friendship, was that we became the infamous Party Boys. And that's with a Z. You can still look that up. Yeah, sure. uh, uh, we, you know, if you guys saw the, the Isle of New York reunion, you know, it all started with 12 Pack. He got one call, and then next thing you know, he called me up. He's like, hey, what do you think about this? They're willing to invite me here and get paid a couple bucks. Next I said, should we start the party boys? He's like, it's the freaking party boys, baby. <laughs> 2007, we really rocked it out, touring the country. Just, I mean, thousands of people showing up just to meet us. Mind you, our act wasn't just showing up and just drinking and taking pictures like all the real world kids and all these. We actually put on a show. <laughs> By popular demand throughout the country, we just had tons and actually thousands of women that wanted to meet us and party with us. And I said, why the hell, why don't we start this tour? And I said, 12 Pack, what, what should we call this freaking tour? And he said, we're the party boys. What other name than that? We're bringing it live in person right. and take it to the next level. You're going to see a lot more of me and 12 Pack. Are you 
VH1 called us and they offered us to be the host of the I Love New York season two after show. So that was pretty wild, wasn't that yeah. fun? Well, we actually, we did a Where Are They Now? We did a VH1 oh, Where yes. Are They Now? 25 years old doing a VH1 Where Are They Now? Which is crazy to tell people. I'll be like, yeah, 15 years ago I did a Where Are They Now? 10 years ago I did a Where Are They Now? Which is crazy to think. So they did the Where Are They Now? And at that time we were doing Party Boys. And right from that, it's not even been a year, and then I Love Money comes out, and they right. put you and I on it. Yep. We were supposed to, at this time, come out and be this team, and you know, take, hopefully maybe get our own show. That was the end goal. Yep. And um, we were obviously on different teams, and I mean, they, you know, Frank, not knowing I should have been Paymaster at that time, ends up kicking me out. And it was weird vibe, because we're on a different team. Mm -hmm. So I think with you and I on a different team, it, are we going against each other? Right. So it was a right. unusual feeling. And then pretty much after that show, we just kind of were like, we didn't know, we just kind of started doing our own thing. Yeah, we was it. legitimately, it was the weirdest thing. Hey, we went hardcore party boys, uh, and then we, we did this I Love Money, and yeah, I got kicked off, what was it, three episodes in? And 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 yeah, we lost touch, and that even was it. A year later, they called me to do I Love Money 2 without 12 pack. And, and, I did Daisy of and Love. then he goes straight to do Daisy of Love, which is wild. That was an experience, so I didn't even tell you I about mean, this that. guy, I mean, again, this is the first time, I kid you not, guys, the audience watching, this is the first time in years. Where I said, I have to grab the camera, we have to do this. And, and, and here we are, it doesn't matter what we've been through. Let's just tell the audience now, what, what are you doing now? Let's tell them what, what we're doing, what we're up to now, what they can look forward to us, because be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of excited. What, what's the coming, man? Yeah, I mean, you know, we still, I feel like we still got some life left, yeah. you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, if we, we can, people pursue this as long as they want. Yeah, I realize, you know, it's crazy as it seems. 12 years ago, we were kind of at the limelight and whatnot, and I know it seems like forever now, but I mean, I'm 35 years old, you know, technically, some guys got their starts much later than I did, and I obviously got it a long time ago. Um, but, you know, we went to, went to the, working world, you know, I moved to Nashville. Um, I have two children, a nine-year-old and a three-year-old. Um, I'm currently married uh, to my wife, Amanda, who I met on tour for my Busey show in Florida. She was one of the Busey beauties. And we, for the month, kind of hang out, kicked out. We just, we meshed well, you know? And I was like, I'm not looking for a girl from just on Daisy Love. And I hadn't even, Daisy hadn't even come on the air yet. And she was pregnant at the time. Mm -hmm. Happened very quickly. And we were living together and the show is now on the air. So, you know, I didn't even get to go crazy and I hosted some parties, you know, but it was kind of usual. I had a, the baby came, first she's pregnant, you know, then oh, the baby Lord. comes and people are trying to get me to come out, drink and hang out. And immediately went to work uh, in finance in New York City and just kind of 180. And then uh, she's from Nashville, so we moved off the grid in Nashville for a while. But I moved back to New York about four and a half years ago. Manage the auction at Steiner Sports. I host uh, an online show. We've got a million Facebook followers, and nice. I praise people's memorabilia. So they'll ask me questions, and I'll tell them exactly how much I think it's worth. And we go back and forth. I've had Johnny Damon on the show. I've had some big celebs, and uh, we filmed a little pilot uh, re recently. That you know, I can't too much into details, but we're currently shopping it. So hopefully, something you know, still, still there, man. That's I awesome. Show. Do something. Yeah. What about you, man? What you uh, well, let's see. Since uh, what was it? 2010. I think uh, 11 when we're, we're done with all these VH1 shows. And, and and just so the audience is even more clear, the reason why we didn't keep on going, there was unfortunately a murder on uh, Megan Wants a Millionaire. And that was very unfortunate because it ended the life of VH1 stars. And because of such a horrible situation, I mean, I mean, I, they, 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 they filmed I Love Money 3, I Love Money 4, and none of these ever aired. Yeah, and then they cut Megan's show off two weeks into it. And at the time, Entertainer just filmed his show. Right. And I had just lost. I made it to the finals of Daisy Love. And they called me and said, we're writing I Love 12 Pack. I Love Dave 12 Pack. Is that okay? Can we go forward with the yep. project? And I was like, great. And then obviously the murder all cut off. And yep. 
Here I am promising my pregnant girlfriend I got my own show coming out, and then yeah, a lot different. Same you know? here. Same here. We spoke with production. Uh, it was an involvement with me. I never. I wasn't talking to you then. This is how, this is how long ago it was. Yeah. It was me, my grandma when she was living. God bless her right. soul. And and uh, they said, what do you think in two years? Because they wanted me to do another. I love money. Uh, this is before the Megan. Uh, for the love of Caliente, Mexico. I knew that was it, baby. And it made sense because they had back then the uh, for the love of Ray J. So I was they just kept going. With oh yeah, they kept on yeah. going. We had, I mean, we kept. But let me tell you something, Dave. When you ask me what have I been up to, I'll tell you this right now. Not continuing these shows saved my life. Because the way I was personally going, abusing alcohol, abusing just not knowing who the F I was, bro. I mean, he can tell you firsthand, I used to get hammered, hammered, blackout drunk, and it wasn't cute, you know? Now, I got sick of it, you know? And I was, I was a, a 15 pounds heavier than I am now. I was just not out of shape, but I was just, I was unhappy. And even though I looked happy living the life, I just wasn't happy, and I can say years later, you know, I became certified, became a personal trainer, uh, a life coach, and, and and I still do, you know, hosting shows. Uh, but more than anything, I live my life with a purpose now, meaning I love getting up every morning, going for my jog, you know, jumping in, uh, on phone calls, helping people that are, were lost. Meaning, I had money, just like a lot of celebrities. They may have all the money in the world, but who cares if you don't have your health and if you're not happy, right? So the fact that after so many years talking to this man, I can call you my brother. He looks sure. great. You look great. Uh, does he look great, guys? Come on. You know, are we having, you know? exactly the same. Uh, come on. <laughs> so uh, we haven't changed, and all I can say, uh, I'm excited for what the future brings. What what what, what it's gonna hold? Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I'm open to to definitely shooting some content with you if you guys are interested in seeing me and Dave 12 Pack uh, do some new shows. Oh, man. Uh, hit, hit the comments <laughs> below. Hit us with a thumbs up. Uh, ask us questions. Uh, that's what, you know. Now that we've rekindled our friendship after all this time, uh, we'll be doing some more. Uh, videos uh, now through Instagram we can do live videos Facebook I'll give you guys his links it'll be on the description um, and and uh, I think what better way to end this interview this I love New York reunion with a little caliente dance baby caliente this workout program, it doesn't matter if you're in the club, you're in the bedroom, or in the gym, cause I'm gonna make you sweat, trust me, it's about to get caliente, you ready baby, esta lista mami, let's go, to M, what, M what, <laughs> there you have it my boy Dave, so back camera, love you brother, thank you so much for being you, uh, this guy, he was a great guy then, but I see a different side that makes me appreciate him even more. He's humble, he's hardworking. Make sure you go follow him and stay tuned in a few weeks uh, on my other show. It's called Get Inspired with Jason. 12 Pack will be a guest as well amongst many other celebrities you do not want to miss. Stay tuned and keep it going. Yeah, man. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer, and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle, and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.